This is Racer KK and 10 R coming back to you with some Real Racing 3 gameplay on the Corvette C7R Championship. Five days remaining. Going after that 80 gold coins since I already own the car. Tier 4 is complete. Tier 5, we're starting on the speed record. On road, circuit long, test track. I didn't even see it went by so quickly. What's the speed record? I'm gonna, I am gonna. I guess I'll just lose it and then find out later. Seventy-five point seventy-one, eighth place. One fifty-two point oh five. Let's see if I get an increase or decrease or increase. Yeah, increase would make it easier in the speed. Three. Hey, look at that. I got two more miles an hour. So one fifty one would be a good uh, speed. The one seventy one. I don't know. Did I miss that. Just read that. Maybe it's 171, I don't care, remember now. Fifty two. That's what it was, I guess. Played around with the lifting too much. I didn't want to go too far over. It doesn't matter. The damage is going to, you know, I'm already at zero in the service, so it only affects the front end damage, it only affects the top speed I can get now, but I've already gotten what I need, so it's moot. I'll have to watch that back because it went from 150 up to 153, I guess, after I lost. It increased me. Well, the top speed's 188, so I was able to smash it anyway. Okay, on to, I'll just do the hunter next. Guess I'll lose it once to see if I get some increase in the R526 behind. Okay. Five twenty six five fifty seven. 
Now I have to beat. Five twenty six, five fifty seven. <laughs> I guess I'm at the bottom of the barrel already, so no place to go. Get to this point, I just need to do a little manage to keep the bots down and win my small margins and drastic measures don't seem to be taking any effect, so let's do a little maintenance for this forward, this time forward, and hopefully we'll be in good shape. 526 means if I win by 495, that's 30 yards ahead. I like that margin. While I was running the um, losing race a moment ago, I thought, I wonder if it's better if you go off track to just lose your, uh, I mean, lift your, lift your accelerator and get back into uh, control of your steering as soon as possible and get back on track as soon as possible. Or if it's better to stay on the accelerator or more and try to keep moving while you're off track. I thought maybe it'd be a good uh, study to do. Okay, four ninety-five. Five thirteen. Just barely beat him. Thirteen yards. <laughs> close. It's close enough to be nervous. <laughs> oh, look at this. Twenty-five percent. Five gold. I'll take it. Thank you. There we go. Seventy-nine point nine required. And I have 6.4, it's a Grand Prix circuit, Suzuka circuit. All, both of them. Two laps. I tried racing in hood view and cockpit view, and I was able to kind of do okay. But it just, I learned using Chase view, and I just I like to feel the view I get with it. it. May not seem as realistic as driving a car, but you know it's a car racing game instead of driving a car. And so if I want to drive a car, I'd go get in a car. And this one, I think it gives me a tactical advantage, seeing people coming up from behind, how far they are. And which side they're coming on. You can kind of tell that from the the numbers I put up there behind you, but you can also see that there's more than one car coming up behind you, one on one side, one on the other. I just think you get more information when you're in. It's a little, you have to get used to the, the way the camera follows it. It's not really just directly behind the car all the time, as you just saw there on that U-turn or hairpin, but it's just something you get used to and learn how to control it while the camera's lagging in the space, you know, off to the side. I'm talking, not driving. And I'm going off track instead of staying on track. I'm still too far ahead. If I keep my lead. Yep, I was able to. That's good. Let's 
Final lap, another two minutes and this will be over. I think it's a good tactic to stay on the left side of this turn so that you can take this sharper one a little uh, straighter. <laughs> but it would be a lot straighter than I just did it. <laughs> so screw up the end of that turn. I'm having a poor beginning. Too fast, I think. Alright, I gotta... Narrow the gap some. In these cases, it's easy to, if you're not positioned in the right place and you've got that big field of view, it's easy to move over and get in the right position before they arrive at your bumper. Good finish, 19 yards. No service, no service needed. No upgrades done, no upgrades needed. Tier 6 unlocked. Thank you for watching my videos. Good luck to you and your Corvette Championship. Come back and see how mine turns out. Tier 5 complete.